and the likes of Shaykh Rabi' bin Hadi al-Madkhali alive today in his 80s. This great man, Hafizahullah, every day iftar in his house in the month of Ramadan. And this has been going on for how many years? How many years? His house always open. Every, imagine your, your house every day is open. Every day. You pray, if you catch Maghrib prayer, and in his 80s, he say, come to the house. Go to the house, sit with you for 10, 20 minutes, little kalima, and if you want to benefit from the, from the books, ben- stay, ya ikhwan, stay, benefit. If you pray Isha with him, afterwards, he will say, uh, he will say, stay for dinner. If you don't, and he will ask, do you have a place to stay for the night? If you don't, we have mattresses downstairs, stay downstairs and sleep. In my house downstairs. Ya Ikhwan, even total strangers. His house open for them. Kindness and mercy for the strangers. Subhanallah. Every day, Ya Ikhwan. And the only time he wouldn't come out is because of his illness, because of his sickness. But other than that, Ahlan wa Sahlan wa Marhaba. And he even has a tape called Marhaban Ya Talib al Ilm. Welcome, O student of knowledge. Happy. To accept the students of knowledge. Happy to ask about different areas around the world. How's the da'wah? In this country, in that con- this continent, that continent. Worried for the Muslims. The ummah on his shoulders. Helping the Muslims around the world to be upon Quran and Sunnah. Away from bid'ah. This great alim. Reviving the books of the Salaf. How many books he has brought out of manuscript. How much of the deen he has defended and how much of the sahaba he has defended. Time after time, sahaba after sahaba, one word against the sahabi and he's there writing about it. But before that, he would advise that individual. And if he sees arrogance in that individual, then he would write and refute. But he tries his best to follow the individual and how many years he would stay with that individual to try and hoping that he will come back to the truth. Not wanting to lose anyone. Humble. وَعِبَادُ الرَّحْمَنِ الَّذِينَ يَمْشُونَ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ هَوْنَا These are the ulama who are humble. Humbled by what? By the Qur'an and the Sunnah. In that which Allah calls to and that which the Messenger Wasallam explained. Humbled. And we see that. We see that in the, in the way they conduct themselves. One time we prayed next to him, he put my feet next to his foot. And he said, Join your foot together with mine. For indeed, every time I pray, when I join the feet with my brother, I always feel, you know, feel more concentration and more khushu' in the prayer. Concerned for the salah. As he would go into the haram, he wouldn't stay outside, he would go right inside, as far as he can, even in his 80s. And his teacher, Sheikh Muhammad al-Banna rahimullah, who said to, about him, I used to be your teacher, now you are my teacher. 